Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Rudram 3 is the most awaited missile which is under development by DRDO's Nodal Laboratory Research Center Imarat at Hyderabad. It's going to be an air-launched anti-radiation missile capable of neutralizing the RF signal emitted by targets such as surface-to-air missile defense system, fire control radars, surveillance radars and other ground targets from long ranges. Recently, a lot of information has surfaced about this missile which was earlier not clear. The first picture of this missile was shared by Vayu Aerospace Review. The Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI is going to be the primary launch platform for the missile with capability to launch five Rudram-3 missiles. The thought of Su-30 MKI carrying five Rudram-3 missiles can send chill through the spine of adversaries. The missile will have both day and night capabilities. It will have supersonic flight throughout its flight duration and hypersonic speed at the terminal stage. This can be also understood from the control surfaces it has. The missile is going to have two stages. The first stage is a booster and second stage is a dual pulse motor. The missile will weigh close to 600 to 700 kgs with a warhead of nearly 200 kg and range of 550 kilometers. The new image of Rudram 3 reveals addition of 16 control surfaces, which will make the missile highly maneuverable. It has eight control surfaces in the mid section and another eight in the tail section. The fixed wing in the mid section will help the missile to achieve the hypersonic speed. It will feature a passive and active dual mode seeker with capability to lock on before launch. The missile will use INS GPS satellite guidance along with inertial navigation system for mid course guidance with circular error probability of close to 4 meter. The missile will follow a quasi ballistic trajectory and hit target with hypersonic Mach numbers. Now, the another important missile which has caught attention is Prahar. The futuristic tactical operations will be increasingly relying on long-range standoff weapons, be it a said mission that is suppression of enemy air defense mission or busting the hideouts of terrorists in Balakot. The Prahar offers that capability with pinpoint accuracy and very short reaction time to neutralize time-critical targets. Now, the time-critical targets are those who are highly mobile and require perfect timing and planning to neutralize them with no scope of error. The Prahar will be a scalable system which can interface with existing command control system of Army. The missile will have maximum range of 150 km and a minimum range of 60 km. It follows a maneuvering atmospheric trajectory and can carry 200 kgs of conventional warhead and capable of engaging different types of targets. The missile is powered by a single stage solid rocket motor to impart the required velocity. In addition, the trajectory shaping ensures that missile will impact in a near vertical manner. The missile will have very fast reaction capability from mission command to launch. It takes just 40 seconds and has a short cycle of reloading which is less than 30 minutes. Though Indian Army do not have any artillery at present with a range greater than 100 km, Prahar can fit in this role and even more accurate though it can be slightly costly option. The missile has all weather day and night launch capability. It can be launched from a highly mobile launcher carrying two canisterized missiles. The missile uses fiber optic gyro inertial navigation system augmented by GPS or Navic satellite guidance in the mid course. It uses active radar homing for the end game or terminal stage. The most recent trial of Prahar was made way back in September 2018. Due to its limited range of 150 km, the Indian Army wanted a new tactical ballistic missile with a range of 200 km which led to the development of Pranash. The configuration of new missile has been frozen by DRDO. Its developmental trials were expected by the end of year 2021. The Prahar missile family has been developed to carry only conventional warhead to avoid the confusion of nuclear threat. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.